Okay. Uh, I think last time we just started about the exceptions. Okay. And before starting the exceptions, we saw uh, what kind of errors we may get in a program. So we discussed that uh, there may be three kinds of errors which are available. One may be a syntax error in which you do some uh, violation of the syntax means you didn't mention the syntax properly and who captured the syntax, that syntax are captured by Python compiler. So if you are having any sort of uh, syntax error that will be captured by Python compiler and it will not convert your high level language into the byte. Code. But suppose your code does not have a syntax error, means it does not have a syntax error. Syntactically, it is perfect, but you are making some other kind of error, like a divide by zero error, or you are uh, passing a data type which is not proper for that particular function. Okay, or you are uh, passing the operator, something which is not suitable, means some operation which is not possible on different uh, data types, right? Those will be actually captured during the runtime by your Python virtual machine. Okay, so second kind of error will be your runtime errors, right? Which will be captured by PVM. And third kind of errors are actually not errors, rather, we can say that those are the errors which is uh, built on based off. Uh, the improper logic of the programmer. Programmer did not understand the proper logic. What is my requirement? And he mentioned something wrong. Okay. So what was the exceptions? Exceptions are the runtime errors. Understand everyone. <coughs> exceptions are the runtime errors which can be handled by the user. I think I mentioned somewhere as well. Okay. What is the exception? Exceptions are the runtime errors which can be handled by the programmer. Okay. We saw an example. These are the runtime error that we are getting file not found error because it is not available in my system, right? Syntactically, it is 100%. Okay. It need a argument inside, so it is getting that argument inside fine. And uh, if you go there, uh, we are dividing by zero. So syntactically, again, it is fine. A division operation means uh, uh, two operands. So two operands are there. Similarly, uh, this int function syntactically perfect, right? I get a, a given argument inside, but actually we cannot convert a into the integer, so I'm getting a value error, right? So these kind of errors that I'm getting during the runtime can be handled by the users. Okay, so those runtime errors which can be handled by the users. Uh, is known as, or not user, rather a programmer is known as exceptions. Okay, and how do we handle them? Now come to that. Okay, how can we handle this file not found error and uh, type error or zero division error, whatever we getting? How can we handle that? Okay, so you remember you have to use two keywords. According to that, you will work. Two are the main keywords. What are those? Try, and second is accept. Okay, try. And accept two are the major things. Now, how we'll use them? Okay, you'll first of all mention try like this. Okay, you will put a colon after the try, you will put a colon, you'll press enter, you will land under the indentation uh, where it is coming. I think it is landing properly or not. Yeah, it is fine. And here you will mention the statements. Okay, here you will mention your statements which you think may raise an exception. Right here, you will mention those statement. You think, okay, it may raise an exception. You may, it may raise an exception. Here, you will write any statement, any statement, one statement, two statement, three statement. You will write here those statement which you think may raise an error or may raise an exception. Okay, then you will have a accept block. Okay, you will have a accept block. In the accept block, what you will mention? Understand the statements. that you want to execute the statements that you want to execute if exception is raised okay means the statements that you want to use where you want to execute if the exception is raised so mainly two things you will mention here try and accept Remember that try and accept. Actually, where we use it, there are several applications available, huge number of applications. Okay. So, where can we use? Understand. Suppose what is happening, I am uh, designing an application system. Okay. In which I will ask from a user, please tell me your age. Okay. I'm asking from the user, please tell me your age. So, let me mention that. Okay. Let me come here. Let me try that. Try. Colon. I know that I will ask from the user, please tell me his age. And according to his age, I will make some decision means whether he's allowed for the further process or not. Okay, something like that. So, how do we take the input from the user? By the help of input function, right? So, I'm using a variable here, suppose age. And I'm asking from the user, okay, what? Uh, please, something like that, enter your age uh, in numeric digits. 
intentionally said him okay clearly i said him okay enter your age in nomadic digits because i want to make some decision okay enter your age in nomadic digits i mentioned that clearly clearly crystal clear that everybody would little bit understand the english you can understand that okay enter your age in nomadic digits okay if he enters perfectly okay so remember that what will be the output of the input function it will be always a string we know that it will be always a string but if we want to take a uh, numeric weightage then we have to convert into the integer or mm -hmm. a floating point so i'm meaning mentioning here int right so whatever he will type 32 31 18 19 accordingly it will be converted corresponding to the integer fine now here and accordingly i will make the decision suppose example if age is greater than or equal to 18 okay i will say that print you are allowed okay or else i will mention print you are not allowed something like this right if i use this program normally see i copy this and execute it here like this okay something like this uh, come here and come here yeah yeah done yeah done okay let me accept this okay let me uh, type correct okay without any problem suppose i'm typing uh, 17 you are not allowed perfect it's working great okay uh, let me pass 23 you're allowed 100% is working perfect. Okay, let me execute once again. And by mistake, by mistake, something instead of suppose 18, okay, 18 or something, I press 1E. E. By mistake, anything can happen, right? Anything by mistake, anything can happen. So by mistake, I typed 1E e here. By mistake, then what will happen? I get a value error and my program got crashed. So I know that it may be possible that user may enter some wrong digits because of which my program will crash. I will get a runtime error. Okay, and these things come by the practice only when you work in the real time environment in the industry, you know that okay I will uh, give this kind of program generate this kind of program, what are the possibilities that user may do. If you launch such kind of program directly what we are using in the production environment your server will crash. And your all the program may be halted, so you have to think about it okay what may be the use cases right so intention if by mistake by mistake because suppose he's entering. Uh, <clears throat> one or 11 or 18 or 17 remember if, uh, above every key means above, if we are, we are we don't have a dedicated key system or number keys dedicated number keys in my laptop or in my desktop if it is not there in desktop normally we do have but suppose in uh, laptop several times it happened we don't have a dedicated number keys okay you don't have so just to shrink the size they make it like this so mm -hmm. beneath your number digits normally you have alphabets so by mistake it may be possible you're trying to pass one e and you are getting what you are getting, uh, sorry, you are trying to pass 17 or 18 or something like that. Instead of that, you pass A8, okay? Or you pass 4E, something like that by mistake. Keyboards are like this, okay? So some error may arise. So what I should do, I know that this particular statement may actually raise an exception, okay? This particular statement may raise an exception, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pack this block inside my try block. Okay, I'm going to pack this block. I know that I may get an exception, right? Or I may get a runtime error. So I will pack this code of block inside here. So that I want to see uh, the statement which you think may raise an exception. Okay, I mentioned here. Now what? Understand. Now I will use my accept block. Okay, and in the accept block, what I will mention, remember I mentioned a statement which you want to execute if the runtime error has occurred. Okay, here I will mention, first of all, by the practice, first of all, I should know, okay, if he enters some digit, which is not able to convert into integer, what kind of exception may be raised, okay? So I think we saw that in earlier, if we go back in the case, can you see that even? What kind of error I will get? Value error, right? Can you see this everyone? What kind of error it may get? Value error, when I'm not passing any number which cannot be converted into the integer i'm passing any number which cannot be converted to the integer suppose this i pass uh, a or i pass suppose uh, any other number suppose uh, at the rate okay let me execute this see okay it's a syntax error so let me pass this inside as a string yeah at the rate okay 
see again i'm what i'm getting value error because it is not able to convert that into this into the corresponding integer it is not able to convert into the corresponding integer right or even i pass a percentage sign here inside okay it is not able to convert that okay so what i'm getting a value error so i know that okay there may be chances of value error okay if you know that by a practice you may know that okay there is a chances of value error so let me copy this okay and mention here in the except block what except value error so if value error is going to be occurred understand then this except block will capture that if value error is going to be occurred this except block will capture that so you mention value error we give normally given allies and uh, any allies you can give suppose i'm mentioning allies to be suppose ve in short okay allies mean nickname this value error will be known as ve actually it is helpful i'll show you that okay ve after that put colon and now after this whatever you want to do if value error has occurred okay now whatever you want to do if value error has occurred for example i want to simply say print first of all please check that all the characters that you have entered all the characters are numeric okay i'm saying that please check that all the characters are numeric only then we will get integer na right so i'm giving him warning please check that all the characters that you have entered are numeric okay after that whatever you want to mention you want to show him an error message as well so what i can mention print example okay suppose i want to show him the same message uh, the message which is appearing here this which is invalid literal for int with the base 10 this okay you want to show him this message so what you can do you can just pass here uh the allies that you have used what is the allies you have used ve just mention ve okay and if you want to show him okay what kind of exception has been raised you can just come here and print here type of your ve means what kind of exception has actually occurred it's your choice you want to show him is your choice means anything you want to use you want to use a inside this a for loop or a while loop, whatever you want to do means what you want to do if exception has raised that thing you will mention here okay and this will capture only one kind of exception what was that value error only and only one kind of exception it can capture right now that will be value error so let me execute this code done okay let me enter first of all everything correct suppose i'm entering 32 fine you are allowed done no problem let me execute once again okay and suppose this time let me execute wrong okay let me execute wrong so let me pass suppose 1 e okay let me pass 1 e so now see what happened okay if exception will be raised only then you will come to the accept block okay if you get any exception only then you will come to the accept block if it is not raising any exception understand this block of code that is mentioned here in the try block it is not raising raising any exception then this accept block will not be executed understand that first of all okay it will be executed only when this code the piece of code that you have written here will raise an exception if it will raise an exception only then this block of code will be executed so as i mentioned earlier 32 remember no problem happened what only this block of code executed nothing of this which even taken into the consideration right because what happened i entered 32 the 32 got converted into the integer this condition was checked okay this condition got satisfied and got you are allowed and we are done my program ended see successfully but if i do this thing let me copy this in the another side okay paste here and let me do execute the same thing again but this time let me enter wrong 1 e so i know 100% that this 1 e will not be able to convert into the integer so 100% of value error will be occurred and when value error will be occurred actually this except block will be executed this time okay this actor because your 100% of value error exception will be raised because which will be captured by this except block and then whatever statement you have written those will be executed so if i press enter uh, here can you see everyone what i get whatever i mentioned in the accept block please check that all the characters are numeric i get please check that all the characters are numeric what message we were getting while value error were occurring go there and check what was that or this invalid literal for int with the base 10 okay you go there and check what is being mentioned here 
in the error message uh, see invalid literal for in 10 with the base 10 and what kind of exception it is it is class of the class value error tell me everyone till this point is it fine remember your accept block will be executed only and only when exception will be raised if exception is not raised it will not be executed and right now whatever we have written this will capture only and only one exception that is value error no other exception i'll come to other exception within one minute don't worry first tell me till this is clear what we will mention in the try block okay and what we will mention in the accept block we will mention in the try block only those pieces of code which you think okay this may raise an exception this is one example i'm showing you Okay, same problem actually I faced. Uh, some assignment was given to me by a client. I was working on the same, and they asked me to fetch a data from their own website. Okay, but their website was highly secure. Highly secure. So they were uh, not returning me back. They were re rejecting my request. They were rejecting my request. So when my reject uh, request was rejecting, my program was getting crash again and again, again and again, again and again. So at that time, actually, I didn't know okay uh, how to deal with that. So I talked with my client, sir, what is the problem? I'm getting rejected. Hey, actually, I intentionally gave you this task that uh, I want to know how secure my website is. That's what my purpose. I gave you that website. So okay. So again, you can do that kind of thing. Means you want to ensure that okay your program didn't get uh, crash when I was trying to connect to a website. It may be possible that we will show that we'll fetch our data from a website also. I'll show you that that is very very easy process. No problem in that. Okay, but uh, some website will not permit you. Okay, if they will not permit you, sometime your program will crash. If you want to avoid that, if you want to avoid that, okay, again you can use your try and accept block. Tell me, everyone, till this point, any doubt? Then tell me, please. If it is fine, I'll take another exception into the picture. <clears throat> If it is fine, see, I'll move ahead. Sir, mm -hmm. um, why did we wrote uh, print uh, and uh, VE? Actually, just, just to see the error message. Only that purpose or nothing else. This print VE is giving me what? See, this message. message. Invalid literal for end with base 10, which was appearing where? When? Value error was appearing. See this one. Exactly same message. Okay, so we are yeah. printing our uh, error message. Error message. Yeah. Now that's the yeah yeah. That's the only purpose. Okay. okay. That's the, if you don't want to use it, your choice. What do you use it? Entirely your choice. You want to do something else? You do whatever you want to do. It's your choice. Okay. Right. In your application program, you are maybe designing a using a GUI system, okay? Uh, using Django or Python with the help of Django, you may be using that. In which what you can do, you can give him a visual display of the message, okay? Okay, please check. I'm giving you one more chance to enter the your you enter the correct password or something like that, right? Whatever you want to do, it's your choice. Not mandatory that you print this message. I just showed you, okay? We can also print this message if you want with the help of this alias that we use, right? Only that purpose. Others, is it fine? If it is fine, I can move ahead, everyone. Clear? Tell me. At least say yes or no. I'll come to know at least you are understanding or not. Yes. Okay. So let me move ahead. Okay. Come to the next block. Okay. Now suppose what I'm doing, I'm again copying the same thing. Let me delete this block. This is irritating. Yeah. Okay. Let, let's see what I want to do at the same time uh, there, I want to open a file. Okay. Suppose I want to open a file and uh, in that file, let's say I'm just giving an example. Okay. In that file, whatever user, the age user will enter. I want to write that uh, age into that file. Okay, whatever user will enter. Okay, so first of all, I want to open a file. So what I'm going to mention here, suppose a file, any file name I can give, suppose file name is file equals to, I'm trying to open a text file. Okay. And suppose this text file is available or doesn't available. That's a different thing, but I don't know. I'm not, I doubt. Okay. It may be available. It may be not available. I'm not sure. It, I'm not sure this file will be available or not. Okay. So when I'm not sure this file will be available or not, of course, 
if file will not be there hundred percent, it is going to raise an exception. And what kind of exception it is going to raise? It is going to raise the exception. Which kind of this? File not found error. Okay, file not found error. This exception will be raised, right? So I have to be cautious. So I am coming here. I am mentioning example a file name which exists here. Okay, so I am mentioning here my dot txt. I'm not sure it is there, so but I mentioned here. Okay, but I, why I mentioned here because it may raise an exception. So what I do now, I know that if it will not find this file, then what it will do? It will raise which kind of exception? That exception is known as file not found error. So let me copy this. Okay, and I can add the one more except block. Okay, except. What is exception name? File not found error. I just mention here as now whatever alias name you want to give. Suppose I'm giving file not found FNFE, whatever you want to give. Okay, file not find error. Colon again you can mention something like print whatever you want to do. I'm just giving you simple example with the help of print. Okay, you can do whatever you want to do. Uh, the file does not the mentioned file that is better. The mentioned file does not exist please check file name something like this right and also suppose i want to print the error message that we get when the file not found error comes so i can mention print again and whatever allies we have given allies i can mention here okay and suppose you want to see uh, what kind of exception it has captured you can mention that as well print by type of FNFP. Okay, so you can mention as many exceptions as many you want. Your choice. Completely, it's in your hand. As many exceptions you think it may have, right? So I am. Why am I having the two exceptions here? Because you know that this particular instruction, right, may raise a value error. So that is here, right? It may raise an error. So value, it is here. Okay, I mentioned here wrong place. So let go. Should let me copy this. Control X. Okay, and come here. Right here. So this particular statement may raise what? A value error. So I mentioned that exception here. This particular statement may raise file not found error. So I mentioned the exception here. But understand, any of this exception will occur only and only when we any exception is raised by means oh, sorry any of uh, uh, both of these except block will be executed. Okay, only and only when the corresponding exception is raised. Okay, if we will execute the first line. Of course, this is a sequential coding. So first of all, first line will be executed. If this file give, raise an exception, so what exception it will raise? It will raise file not found error. Then this exception will be executed. This block will be executed. Okay. But suppose it found somehow this find this file my dot txt. Then it will move to the second line. Okay. It will move to the second line. If they did not throw any error, means again it did not raise any exception. Again, fine. This block will be executed. Then this block will be executed. Whatever, depending upon the condition, either uh, this block will be executed, this block will be executed. And once it is not giving any kind of error, then none of the except block will be executed. But suppose full first line itself raise an exception. Okay, so you will not go to the next lines. These lines won't be even checked. Immediately exception will be raised. And what kind of exception will be raised? File not found error. So we will capture this. With this except block will capture this. Okay, but suppose first line is fine. There is no error. File exists there, and this line raises an exception. Okay, so this will raise which kind of exception? Value error. This will be captured by what? This except block. Okay, so this except block will be executed, not this. Okay, so let me execute. First of all, let's see. Done, and you can see I am. Uh, I mentioned my line enter your age in the numeric digits. See what is happening here. That means first line was successfully executed. That means what? 100% guarantee this file exists here. That's why you are able to come to the second line. Right or wrong, everyone? It's a sequential code. So first of all, first line has been executed, and I am coming to the second line. That's why I'm seeing this message right now. That means this file was there. Then guaranteed 100%. This exception is not going to come. Okay. This exception is not going to come guaranteed. If anything is now possible, is value error. That too, if I mention some wrong data which cannot be converted into the integer, suppose I mention correct 58, so 100 percent everything will be fine. My program is done without any problem, right? My program is done without any problem. But suppose I do this thing, okay? <clears throat> Execute 
I'm again at the second line because the first line exists. Okay, that means where you are at the second line. And now, if I enter something wrong, tell me, everyone, a one E or one F, which exception will be raised? Value error or file not found error? Value error. Yes, value error. Right? File not found error will not come. Why? Because the file exists. Yes, because the file exists. And how how you are sure that file exists? Because uh, exception has not been raised. Yes, exception has not been raised by the first line. Okay, because first line has not raised any exception. So if I press enter, see what happened. Which exception has been raised? Value error. Okay, and your program is not crashing. Can you observe that? Earlier, when we are not using try and except block, what was happening? Every time my program was getting crashed. See, so now know where your programs are getting crashed. Okay, now let me execute once more. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry. Let me paste it. Okay, and let me change the file name. MYM, I mention here. Okay, I don't know that this file does not exist. So immediately, the first line itself will raise an exception. Your first line itself will raise an exception, okay? So further lines won't even check. So we will capture this exception, everyone, this time. This one or this one? Second. Second one. Very good. Now you're getting a perfect idea, right? So let me execute this. Can you see? The mentioned file does not exist. Please check file name. No such file or directory, okay? My name, whatever you have mentioned. And which kind of error it is? file not found error clear everyone tell me clear yeah, sir pretty much clear, yeah, yeah. Uh, pretty much mm -hmm. clear about it but uh, uh, when when we are uh, using type function Mm -hmm. So we are uh, uh, getting the type of my uh, or type of the error only. Yes, yes. Whatever error it has captured, which class it belongs to. Okay, so uh, errors also have uh, uh, different types. Everything in Python classes. is an everything in Python is what an object. Remember of some class. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Everything in Python is object of some class, whether it is a function, anything. Remember, I showed you once. If you even use any function that you are using. Okay, suppose I mention here print. Okay, type of print itself. Okay, in built. what is it? It is built in function or method class. Can you notice? Right? Yes, sir. So everything in Python is class of something. I'm sorry, uh, everything in Python is object of some class. Something, everything is an object of some class for sure. Okay, now see, <clears throat> come ahead. Move here, okay. So we mentioned sure. here, yeah, yeah. Please, please. So can we use this if uh, even if we don't know which type of error is gonna? Yeah, happen? yes, 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 yes. I tell you, I will tell you within two minutes only, okay? okay. Because what will happen? Uh, how much you can remember? It's impossible to remember, right? Yes. It's almost impossible to remember. So we have mother of all uh, means you can say mother and father of all the exceptions. So we'll come to that in one minute, okay? So let me finish something. Uh, after that, I will come to that, okay? So now see what I can do. Within that, actually, I, what I can use a, I can use a else block. Okay, I use except except after all the exceptions have been done. Okay, you mention all the exceptions. You can mention a else block here. Okay, you can mention this else block here. But remember, this else block will be executed only in only in one condition when no exception is raised. None of the exception has been raised. None of the except block has been executed. Okay. So this will be executed only and only understand when none of the exception is raised. Getting my point, everyone. When none of the exception is raised, only then you will come to this block. Are you getting my point, everyone? So whatever you want to write, suppose few instructions only you want to check. Only a few instructions you want to check, okay? I will check only these instructions. And uh, if these instructions are fine, then only I will check these instructions, okay? So I can even mention here, example, anything I want to do. Suppose I can do this thing as well. Uh, instead of this, <clears throat> uh, what I can mention here, suppose something like this, print 
everything went well everything went well means when everything will went well everyone the when guaranteed what guaranteed when none of the exception will be raised only then this block will be executed only and only in one case this block will be executed when none of the exception is raised clear and you can write here even the quotes okay some instruction you may feel okay i will write first this instruction then this instruction and only in this instruction i may get an error i may uh, get an exception to only mention those uh, instructions here and after that remainder of the instruction mentioned in the else block okay so those instruction will be executed when already these instructions have been executed right so you can do that way as well so let me execute this time suppose so all automatically what will happen this instruction does not execute of course this will not be executed suppose i do this so okay uh, i'm see i'm not getting the message everything went well what i'm getting because exception has been raised which kind of exception file not found error okay but suppose i make it my m dot my dot txt so this file exists i know that this file hundred percent exists. This no problem is there. So this exception will not be raised. But it depends on what input we will supply. So suppose let me execute this. Okay. So enter your age in numeric digits. Suppose I enter correctly, fifteen. So hundred percent no exception will be raised. Then your else block will be executed. Can you see everyone? Yes. Right. So remember your else block will be executed only and only when condition is what only and only when. Your none of the exception will be raised, or none of the except block will be executed. That is the main thing. Okay. Now come to the point. What we were discussing. What was that? The thing is that there is one more block left. I'll come to that in a few minutes. Okay. In uh, exceptions, see what is happening here. How many exception we can remember? Although we can remember that with the help of a uh, expertise. If I'm been working in the Python for last five to six years, or seven years, or eight years, of course I can know what kind of exception may be raised by this particular instruction. what are the possibilities by my business knowledge i or by my technical knowledge i mixing both of them together i may come to know what kind of exception will be raised so i can mention there always hard code option is there right even what we can do instead of i mention this way now i can do one more thing see if i copy this block again first of all here see uh, what i did here i used two exceptions value error and file not found error okay this kind of arrangement you should use when you want to do something different when value error is raised and you want to do something different when file not found error is raised okay if that is the case understand what i am saying everyone okay when this is the case means when value error is raised you want to do something different when file not found error is raised you want to do something different but suppose Doesn't matter which exception is there. You want to do only one task, okay? You want to do only one task. Then what you can do instead of using two except block, you can use only one except block, okay? You can use only one except block. How? So as I mentioned here, see, I can use here itself like this value error in the parentheses, and within the same I can mention this file not found error example. Or you have further exception. You can after comma you can put on and mention here. Okay, now this thing is not required anymore. But remember, when we will do, when we want to do same kind of task, when value error is raised or file not found error is raised, means doesn't matter which uh, exception is raised. You want to do only one task. Okay, if that is the case, mention your uh, exceptions in one except block. Mention your exceptions in one except block. Now, whatever you want to do, suppose I don't want to do this thing because uh, it will become specific to value error. So I want to do common task. That's it. This common task. What is the common task? This one. Uh huh. This one. I want to just print what is the error message and which class it belongs to. Suppose which is the common task right now. Okay. So if I execute this time, see my file exists. Let me make first of all file does not exist. Suppose my y m. Okay. See, my exception has been captured, and which exception has been captured? Everyone, can you observe? File not found error with the same except block. Okay, with the same except block has captured my both the exceptions. Okay, and we are getting ve because the right now it will it has captured which exception file not found error. So corresponding message you are getting. 
But suppose this time, uh, let me paste it at the bottom and that will be better. Control C and Control V. And let me make this file name correct this time. Okay. And execute this time. So first line has gone through. That's why I'm coming to the second line. And let me mention something wrong. Suppose uh, five, four, E, five, four, E. Okay. Let me press enter. See which exception has been captured. Value error. Okay. So successfully it is able to capture, but remember same task is happening. The task is same. So you should understand, first of all, your priority, what you want to do. So if some project is given to you, always you should think about what will I do if exception is raised? And if this exception is, what should I do? If this exception is, then what should I do? If that is your requirement means for different exceptions, you want to do something different. Then of course, what you have to do, you have to mention this way, the way we did here, like mention sub uh, separate except block for each exception condition when you want to do different tasks for each exception. I want to do something different uh, for value error. I would do something different for file not found error. Then this way. But if you want to do the same task, doesn't matter it is a value error or a file not found error, okay? Then you can use them inside a tuple like this. Clear everyone? Tell me. Understand the use case when it should be used. When the task is same, okay. When the task is same, now come here. Okay. Now we are coming here and see properly, everyone. <clears throat> How many exceptions we may actually remember? It's very difficult. Okay. It's very, very difficult. So let's go to the Google. Okay. And just type here Python 3 built in exceptions. Yeah, there is better. Okay. And I think this is the Python documentation. Let me click on the same. Let's see, it gives me or not. Uh, uh, yeah, I, would, I was looking for this exception hierarchy. Yeah, I was in search of the same thing. If you see here, okay. <clears throat> What exception we did so far? We use file not found error. Just observe. Uh, this is the exception. File not found error. Okay. Now move ahead. We saw value error. Just observe where is the value error here. It should be there somewhere. If I'm not able to track, please you people observe that. This is here, right? Yeah, it is here. Can you see? This is value error, right? Similarly, there are other errors. I think uh, division by zero errors. Let me observe that. Mm. Division by zero. Yeah, it is here. Zero division error, right? So all the errors that we are seeing actually are available. But who is the parent class of these? A the parent class of these is what? Exception. Okay. Parent class of these is what? Exception. So instead of individually mentioning, if I mention, okay, individually, if I mention a uh, value error, file not found error, right? Those will be captured. But if I use only what? Exception. It will be able to capture all these exceptions which are mentioned. here. Okay. It will be able to capture all these exceptions which have been listed here. Okay. So if I come here to again, my Jupyter notebook, just a second, what happened, where it is gone? Uh -huh this one and let me drag it back. Yeah, fine. Okay. So let me capture this. Let me copy this. Okay. And come down. Okay. And instead of value error, file not found error, I will just mention here what whatever name was mentioned here. What was the name? Exception as whatever allies you want to give. Let it be V. Doesn't matter. Only exception. I just mentioned exception. Now this exception will be able to capture, okay, all those uh, exceptions which were mentioned there, okay. And in that we saw it has file not found error, okay. It has a value error, zero division error, everything it will be able to capture, okay. So let me execute this. So right now the file name is wrong. So of course it should be able to capture that and should display me file not found uh, message means this exception should be executed and it should mention me uh, show me the message correspondingly. Okay, let me execute this. Can you see everyone? It is able to capture correctly. 
no such file or directory m.txt class file not found error. Can you observe? Please tell me. Yes, sir. All right. Smartly it is able to capture. Similarly, let me copy this once again. Actually, I'm repeating this uh, so that uh, when I share this file with you, you can see every example here itself, right? So let me change the file name here this time correctly, okay? And execute this, okay? And let me enter something wrong, uh, three, four, R, okay? Can you see everyone? In very literal for integer, which error it has captured? Value error, right? Similarly, if I again uh, paste it here, Okay, and suppose this is fine. Okay, and I mention here something is my choice. Suppose I mention here a is equal to five divided by zero, something like this. Intentionally, I mentioned right a is equal to five divided by zero. Okay, and now this time let me execute <clears throat> once again. Okay, so as file exists, that's why it doesn't raise the exception. Now, age is asked, let me enter the correct age 45. Fine. See this time which exception it has captured everyone. Can you see? Yes, sir. Right? So this class, this is the parent class. So it can capture all your exception which were listed there. So you don't have to memorize everything. But again, limitation is that if you want to do some specific task for some specific exceptions, then of course, this is not the way to go. Where you will go? You will take the help of uh this way that we mentioned here like this individual exception because it may be your requirement that i will perform different tasks if value error is raised i will perform different tasks if file not found error is raised so anytime different error is raised you will perform different tasks for that purpose you may use this okay if task is different i won't do different tasks so you should always understand what are my use cases okay similarly suppose i come here and again, I paste it, okay? And uh, let me execute the correctly, everything correct, okay? So first is line, let me 32, first is fine. See, lastly, what I executed? Your, your complete block has been executed. And after that, what has been executed? Everything went. What is that? Your else statement. So if no exception will be raised only, then remember your else block will be executed. Same rule applies here. Is it fine, everyone, so far? Yes, sir. Okay, now move ahead. Let's come to the last block, okay? That is basically used for cleaning purpose. What do you mean by that? Normally, you call it as housekeeping. That is a better word, okay? Normally, we use it for the housekeeping purpose, okay? So what is that? Let me come here and let me suppose do one thing. Mm. Suppose, 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 what can we use? Yeah, oh, okay. So we have used a file here, open dot open my.txt. I'm just giving an example, right? So what may be happening that this file may be available in a shared environment. Okay, this is right now available in my local system. Perfect. Okay, no issue. Only I am the one who is using this file. There may be possibility this file is available in the shared environment where other people may want to access it. Okay, so what is a good practice? Whenever you open a file, okay, always when your work is done, you should close that file. You should close that file. Once your file, the basic work is done, you should close that file. And for that, we have a function available at close function. We can use a function known as close function. Directly, we can use it, right? But where should we use it? The issue comes. Where we should use that close function? Should Suppose what I want to do, I open this file. It captures some age, okay? And after that, suppose I want to uh, write whatever age he has captured into this particular file that you have opened. So suppose after that I mention file.close function like this. Okay, this is my task. Tell me everyone, is it guaranteed that my file will be closed if I use this way? Think like a practical programmer and tell me, is it guaranteed that this file will be closed if I use this function? If I mention my file.close function here? No, sir, it will not. Right, why? When it will not be closed? If my uh, if statement is right, when my age is greater than 18, then it will not be executed. No, no, no. Where I mentioned, see, it is not a part of uh, else. It is not a part of if. It's separate. Observe properly. Okay, sorry. It will yes, not yes, give yes. any exceptions. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
Can you repeat once again? No, no, I'm not saying exception. I'm saying that, is it guaranteed that this will be executed? Understand my problem, what I'm asking. If I uh, mention- It will not be executed when exception is, uh, ex exception is raised. Which exception? Uh, any exception, exception. No, 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 that is, that is the thing. See, if exception is raised by this only, right? Then no problem. When this will raise the exception, everyone tell me when this file will be not available, right or wrong. When file is not there, then it will not open. No problem. Then the problem is not there. When file is not there, then it is not open. Then you don't have to close. Don't worry, relax. Right. But when this file is open, okay, that means this path exists. Okay. And this instruction is executed. And if it raised the exception, then what will happen? Everyone, will you come to this line? No, will you come to this line? No, you are no longer coming to the line. The moment it will uh, raise an exception, you will come to exception block. Accept block. But your file remain what? Open, right or wrong? Yes. Right, your file remain what? Open. So what should I do? One thing, I can mention here, uh, file.close. This can be one way. In accept block also I mentioned, right? To be on safer side, okay? To be on the safer side, I mentioned, okay, I will mention here file.close, no problem. Tell me everyone, then I think we are on the safe side. Now guaranteed the file will be closed or not, please tell me. Say yes or no, please. Yes, sir. Now it will be closed. Right. Now it will be closed. Perfect. So suppose this is only one exception we have mentioned. Suppose you have used this exception. Way. You want to do different, different tasks for value error and uh, for file not found error. So tell me where will I have to mention uh, file.close? Where, where? Come on. Both exceptions. Everyone, tell me. If, In, you, if you always see the code, okay, always see the code. Uh, if it is my first line, okay, and if this file is not found, if this file is not found, <clears throat> then what will happen? You will uh, come to the file not found error. This file didn't get open, no problem. So you don't need to close. So you don't need to close. That's what I'm saying, please. That's what I'm saying. See the application and accordingly use your logic. See, I'm saying that if this file is not found, you will immediately come to the file not found error. That means this is never open. So you don't need to close it, right? So no need in this case. But if this file is available and this exception is raised, so which exception will be raised? Value error. So you should mention here only. You should mention here only, but suppose again, the problem comes. That is the issue and you should think about it, okay? You are using two file open statement like this, one and suppose second, somewhere in the midway, anywhere. You should think always, okay? Always think what is my code accordingly, you should write suppose file one equals to open. My.txt, any, any file name, my one and please do. Bear me and give me the answer, please. Okay. My one dot txt. Okay. Now tell me if this file didn't give me an exception, perfect. It is open. It is open, right? But this file give me an exception. So what will happen? This will remain open, right or wrong, everyone? Because the moment it will raise an exception, it will come to which error? File not found error, right? And this file will remain what? Open. In such case, what do you have to do? You should mention in file not found error, what file dot close, right or wrong? Yes. In value error as well, in the file not found error. That's why I always see the code and accordingly make an action. Don't rush, never ever rush, never ever rush. Always see your code properly and accordingly act upon, but a better way than these are what we are doing, right? What we are doing, we are mentioning uh, here once, for to be on the safer side, here I can mention file.close, then file1.close means like this, file.close, 
okay and also file one dot close file one dot close okay something like this and same thing you are repeating here as well okay but smartly you should think where i will be required okay can you see from the code and tell me which uh, file close i should mention in the value error if anybody can tell me please think and tell me this is how you debug your codes okay this is how you work in the industry in the real time environment how you debug your code if you understand every line you will be able to answer that very very easily come on tell me everyone suppose should i mention in value error both the file dot close just think and tell me please both file dot close and file one dot close if you read line by line you will be able to answer just read the line by line come on everyone at least try maximum it will be wrong nothing more than that right i love doing mistakes no problem because mistakes uh, teaches me every time what i am doing wrong tell me uh, first line is executed correctly okay so my file is open but second line got give me some exception so where you will come everyone where will you come value error very good very very good so where which file you should close now the file which is open right or wrong yeah yeah right so you should mention your file dot close but now think about uh if this exception is raised will you ever open this file no right that's what i'm saying please keep thinking right so it will not be longer be required so immediately yes you should think what is required and what is not required accordingly you should see where i should write unnecessary remember don't write repetitive code because always in a uh, programming pedagogy we use the word dry programmer should be dry dry means what don't repeat yourself don't do unnecessary coding which is not required don't repeat yourself right so better than why we are confused your file dot open file dot close here mentioning there mentioning everywhere we are getting confused right so instead of that what is the better practice let me delete this i don't need this anymore okay what is a better practice actually let me come down where were we yeah okay instead of mentioning here file dot close here file dot close we have a clause available okay unnecessary we are mentioning here file and close here file dot close everywhere we are mentioning okay here we mention file dot close here we mention file dot close right so two way we repeat means we repeated we violated the pedagogy among the programmers don't repeat yourself and what we are doing we are repeating here we are mentioning file dot close in uh, this block right here we are mentioning file dot close okay and to be safer side if exception is raised i will close in the except block you are also mentioning here so you are repeating yourself same statement you are repeating yourself so better way is that what we have one block more block why it is red that fine just a second yeah fine okay one more block understand everyone what is that block known as finally block and it's basically used for the housekeeping purpose only same way that we are doing open the close thing which are required normally we use for the this one okay finally block like this it is guaranteed to execute okay doesn't matter exception will be raised or exception will not be raised this block will 100% be guaranteed 100% guaranteed in other block see if exception is raised you will stop here right and some exception block will be executed this will be executed example right this will be executed but if it works fine then everything is fine then this block is not executed and this will be executed this will be and this will be because else block will be executed only when exception is not raised right but finally block will always execute doesn't matter exception is raised or not raised so you don't have to worry there is a block which is savior for you and here directly you can pass what 
file dot close without any problem because it is guaranteed that your file will be closed because this block is hundred percent going to be executed hundred percent it is going to be executed irrespective of exception is raised or exception is not raised you don't have to worry clear everyone please tell me yes yes sir okay so remember this is the four um, normally this is the thing we involve try accept multiple accept block you can have you can have else you can have finally block okay if you want to have similarly you can raise your own exception if you want any time you want to raise an exception right any time you want to raise an exception yes you can raise okay so we call them as uh, normally <clears throat> as user can raise the exception that is a better one and uh, later on uh, within i think two three classes only we will def uh, design our own exceptions okay we will design our own exception normally you call them user defined exceptions okay so we create them with the when we discuss classes and objects okay so means user can raise exception this is this is raised by whatever exception we were getting earlier right this thing we are getting file not found error type error who were raising this exception everyone which block Remember the code. Who were raising those exceptions? Why? PVM, right? Now we can raise an exception if we want. Although, remember, it's not a good practice. I repeat, it's not a good practice. Don't raise. Don't raise exception. Bad practice. It is considered as bad programming practice. Bad programming. practice right it is considered as bad programming practice but how can you do let me show you that okay right now i will be using the built in exceptions which are there on uh, later on i'll show you when you will create our own exception you can use that exception and your customized message that you want to display you can get that okay accordingly suppose i'm creating a function bonus okay which will take an argument from the user age okay and uh, what i want i want to ensure that uh, you always enter positive age in case in case you enter negative age i want to raise an exception okay i want to raise an exception example what kind of exception any exception which is available right now okay which is available under the exception any exception you want to raise okay so suppose i am putting a dog string here okay always enter positive age okay i give a dog string and here i mention something like if age is less than or less than 0 that is fine if age is less than 0 then i want to raise an exception so i will mention raise okay which exception you want to raise suppose i want to raise uh, among because we have not created our own exception so we will right now use the built in exception when when we will create our own exception then we can mention our own exception name so suppose i will be using this value error so i mention here raise value error similarly when we will create our own exception i will mention our exception name value error and within the parentheses you can mention whatever message you want to pass okay you entered negative value okay so if somebody enters the negative age okay then we want to raise an exception like this means want to crash my program okay want to crash my program right only this okay if age is negative if it not there what i want to do after the if block okay if this is not executed perfectly fine i can mention what this is a function return if everything is fine means this if block this uh, will be executed only and only in one case remember when when age will be negative if not case done the if statement will be closed will come to the return state okay if it is age is positive this will not be executed you will come to the return statement and what do you want to return suppose i want to return uh, age times 1.5 age times 1. aha uh -huh, it is not working 1.5 okay so this bonus i will give him whatever is age okay multiply by 1.5 suppose somebody is 20 years old so we will give him 30000 bonus if somebody is 50 years old i will give him 75000 bonus okay but why did he provide the positive so let me execute this done and let me call this function bonus and first of all let me read this definition it needs a single argument 
and talk string is mentioned always enter positive age whatever you mentioned here right same thing is getting displayed here okay so let me pass first of all a positive age suppose uh, 30 so i should get 45 can you see yes perfect 45 now let me pass some negative value bonus uh, minus 20 okay minus 20 let me execute this can you see everyone what i get whatever exception i mentioned value error so i get what value error and same message i will be seeing this time you entered negative value right so user can raise exception himself if he want to raise an exception okay you can raise an exception it's your choice Right. In some, you may be thinking, sir, when it can be required. Suppose uh, you designed a password checking system. When somebody is trying to do the brute force attack, and you are capturing the attempt, okay, how many times? And within that particular time, how many times he's entering the password again and again, again and again, again and again. If he's within a thick duration of time, he's entering multiple times. That means you're trying to hack the password. You may immediately crash your program by raising the exception. This program will be halted immediately. In such scenario, you may use, but normally for that purpose, you have a dedicated experts available. Don't raise the exception. I'm just giving an example where it can be helpful for you. Normally, it's not a good practice to raise the exceptions. Okay. That's why I mentioned, I think that somewhere bad programming practice, not advisable to use exception, but you should know, yes, user can raise the exception as well, if you want. Fine, everyone. Is it okay? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. So I'm in ending for the day. We'll see you on Monday, everyone. And uh, 6 30. Is it fine, everyone? 6 30 to 7 30. Will it be okay for everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. So we'll meet, uh, meet on uh, Monday, 6 30. Fine. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Take care.